Texas at Texas Motor Speedway, Formula Drift round five and six. Yep. Another double header round. We are we are finally in the building. NASCAR yeah. got out of here yesterday. We was able to load in the first thing this morning, 6 a.m. I had to get my car teched uh, because I'm running my backup car this round, my 240SX. That's been my trusty old backup car since uh, FD Canada days. We ended up having a breakup issue. And one of our plugs was, we had an issue anyway. We ended up swapping plugs and the uh, very first practice was set us back a little bit. Uh, but got a few runs in, felt all right. And then um, going into the second practice session, my whole goal was let's get this car dialed in. Let's get as many runs as we can. I think we got like six or seven. Um, filling, got my lead runs down, I feel like. Uh, chase runs, I ended up. He does, they're looking good. <laughs> a couple guys I was following, good. they went off. Uh, or, and another guy uh, just came out of drift in front of me. So I, I didn't get as many follow runs as I wanted. And uh, I guess complete follow runs, but. All good, we got some more practice on Saturday. I'm gonna knock those out. So. <clears throat> My day started off good. Um, I made a couple changes prior to the event uh, in hopes for you know better mail of the car. Uh, started off good, but the track started coming around and getting grip. And when I say I felt like the worst driver of the day, I actually, dude, I had to have been the worst driver in them few laps. No. Like, yeah, dude, I have never been uh, so unconfident on it, just the way the setup came into the track. And, and it shows you how, how fast things change and how quick you have to adapt during this Thursday practice. Like that first of, uh, yeah. event in St. Louis, we never even had that. And yeah. I, I'm like, after I did this, so look, making it quick, uh, towards the end of practice, I did a last minute change for my last run, felt incredible back to where we were. So I'm looking forward to getting two or three runs in uh, warm up. Like I said, I'm gonna be the first guy out Saturday. Who do you have going against Saturday? Uh, my boy, I think. <laughs> The, one of the slowest guys he's never won he hasn't won any events in the past two rounds yeah. their team hasn't won pro probably any events three out of the past four three rounds, rounds. <laughs> bond getting junior so Come he's on. going against bond uh i'm going against another, you know, another mustang on mustang battle and then what should have been a mustang on mustang battle i'll be going against jtp i can't wait <laughs> let's get it let's get it
right, so Texas Motor Speedway, it was, uh, it was a good event. You know, Tyler uh, threw down on his runs that he had, and um, you know he was going against the best in the biz. I got a, um, I got a buy run, a couple buy runs this weekend, which really helped me get out of the, uh, my top 32 slump I've been having. So uh, Saturday, JTP toasted the engine, which allowed me to get to the top 16. Uh, from there on, advancing past Kazuya, and then going against uh, my homeboy uh, Bongin Jr. We ended up breaking third gear on Saturday, and that took me out of the comp there. Luckily, uh, Papa Doc's crew, um, Aldo and Stefan over there, they had the parts and put our uh, dog box back together for us. And uh, you know, the team ripped it out, put it back in in like like five minutes. I swear I was in and out so fast, it's ridiculous. So Saturday we got the uh, car back ready for Sunday's uh, competition, uh, which I also had another buy run top 32. I was going against Farouk, but he also toasted his engine. So I guess that was a theme this weekend: toasted engines. Uh, thank God it was not us. But overall, uh, Saturday, top eight finish. Today, top 16. I had a crazy battle with Chelsea Denofa. I ended up uh, leaving him. I don't say leaving, but I, I, I had a couple car lengths on him throughout my lead run. And, um, you know, in, in the chase run, whenever I was following him, he just uh, he slowed down a lot in the hour zone three. And I came in, I, I was a, his car was really fast. So coming in through the power alley, uh, chasing him. I, uh, he, he had a little bit of gap on me, so I was trying to make up that gap going in. I was on three, and he slowed down a lot. Uh, I got slowed down, but when I jumped back on throttle, my front tires pushed and sent me off track. So that was not optimal, but you know, at the end of the weekend, it was still, um, you know, it, I loved it. You know, it, was, it just felt good to be out on track no, cutting I was laps. Happy. I was happy for you. So. Yeah, I mean, after all the mishaps last, last couple rounds, just cut laps. <laughs> Simply enough, nice. just cut laps with the best dude, so. Yeah, and for me, top 32 with Vaughn, I just, uh, I launched with him at the same time, which I was launching before, and I guess this track surface is good, but I just was too far ahead of him, so he had the momentum on me, and I couldn't uh, swing with him to start my run. Other than that, I, I really, I, I was really quick, just not as much overall pace as him, maybe. Um, still could run, brought it back up, uh, buttoned it up at the end, and then hit a really good lead run. And I, he, he squeaked out the win. He definitely got the win there. Good battle. And Turek in top 32 for round six. Six today. <sighs> I was feeling confident, like the most confident. And um, I, I still felt good during my battles. I threw it in perfectly with him, like the judges said, yep. right on him. And then I brought it to outer zone two with him, like the judges said. But dang it, if I didn't get in a trap caster, I should have listened to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that smoke just, screen. Yeah, I was in the smoke screen, and you're like, now, 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 and I maybe could have waited a little longer, but I just, you'd rather be a little short and have a long e-break than going off and zeroing, like we, we've seen plenty of people do. Yep. So uh, I guess that went in my head that quick, <laughs> but that, I kind of just uh, had to guess. Got back in the pocket with them, um, full throttle, finished the run, and then uh, did a good lead run. So good battle with him also, champion, winner of yesterday, so... Congrats to him. Good luck for the rest of the event. I don't. He, he, something happened to him just now while we were interviewing, so we'll see. But uh, him and LZ got yeah. to a tassel. But okay. I mean, these like to add yeah. to your point, these cars in F and Pro One are just so They're fast, nice. and there's no room for error. So I mean, if you make an adjustment, you know, it's it can be detrimental to the run. Um, but you know, you just got to go with it and make it work. So it's you, you, and roll with like it. Like I said, you literally have to put yourself in a spot. To, to make stuff happen because yeah. if you sometimes give them a little bit yeah if you give them a little bit to be safe and then they smoke and they hit it super fast you're gone you're done yeah. so yeah I mean yeah so wrapping up yeah. Texas uh, pulled the cars on the trailer still running uh, we're feeling good I'm looking good yeah I, I, had, <laughs> I had I had a couple belts shred during the turn run might have affected me or not I, I did feel a little power loss but regardless a belt <laughs> not too bad. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed it. You know, Texas, it started out super cold, but ended up as beautiful out here today. I don't know what it's yeah. 70s, maybe, in the yeah. 70s. Good stuff. We'll see everybody. Uh, we'll see everybody next event. Irwindale, uh, the final. Yes, sir. The, uh, the final at Irwindale. Was it the showdown? Is that what we call it? Yeah, the last the last no, the event. the showdown. The last event Bang. every year. And, uh, yeah, Jonathan Nairn, Jonathan Nairn Racing, Facebook, Graham, YouTube. Tyler Nelson, Drift underscore Nelco. Tyler Nelson Motorsports on Facebook. Drift underscore Nelco on Instagram. Didn't say it's All right. Yeah. Shout out to Daily Driver Media for killing out here this weekend. Thank y'all for coming Thanks out. For See you in Irvindale.